Hi, I'm Mel and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. If you aren't subscribed already, please push um, the button, subscribe button and please also push the notification bell. I post on Wednesdays and Saturdays at 6pm uh, Great British time. Um, so please do subscribe. I thank everyone who has subscribed so far. I'm very close to 2,000 subscribers. Thank you very much. Please also, if you have any questions to ans ask me for an upcoming Q&A, please leave your questions in the uh, comments box down below and I will answer these, or the majority of these, in my Q&A when, when I've reached 2,000. It'll be around then anyway. So in this video, I'm going to be making a unicorn tote bag. So it's like a shopping bag. Um, again, this is a Pinterest thing I've seen, fell in love with, and I have decided to create one myself. So this is very new and exciting. And I have made bags before. Obviously, you may notice know from if you've been here a long time, you saw I made a weekend bag. Um, this is slightly different because it's just decorating one. But um, I do love the crafty, the craft side of stuff, so Pinterest is helpful for me. If you are on Pinterest, leave your uh, username um, again in the comments and I will follow lots of you and may even look at boards and stuff like that because I am addicted to Pinterest. So for this craft, you will need a um, tote bag. I got mine from Hobbycraft. It was only a pound, um, and this is like calico fabric, which is perfect. So for that, you'll need this. You'll also need some uh, embroidery thread. I've picked purple, but you can pick whatever colour you want. And obviously a needle. You won't be able to see this. Oh. Just about. A pencil. Um, a glue gun. Some fabric glue some twine or anything you want to decorate with. So I've got flowers, twine, and I've also got other fabric too. Um, I have also got some glitter, which I used in another DIY. That was just from the pound shop. Um, and then I've also got some more fabric. So this is the same fabric as the bag. This is called Calico, if you want the same, but as long as you get the color to the same as your bag, that is fine. And then also I found from when I was doing fashion at college, I found this fabric which I used in my final major product project and because it's got sparkles on it and it's just pink and this would be lovely for the unicorn's horn. And so this is what I have got for that. And some scissors, that is literally it. So ribbons and scissors and flowers. Um, I'll show you what flowers I've got. This is my bag or my box even of junk basically for crafts and this is what I'm going to be using um, it's got different flowers in it and it's got bows in it and stuff like that but I have also got like tangles of ribbon here which I could use too and also you could use buttons which will be super cute too so I may use these too it all depends how it goes so let's begin You'll also need a mat just to put inside your bag. I completely forgot to tell you, you need a mat to put in um, inside your bag so your bag does not stick together because um, that would not be a good idea. So for the first step, um, we're going to draw like a horn shape that would fit at the top of the bag. Um, but I just got to tell you this, if you buy some calico, if you haven't got any, if you buy more um, and you are a keen crafter like myself, you, I'm going to be using this in an upcoming craft so it's helpful to get more maybe if it's cheaper so that is what I would do so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to roughly draw on a unicorn horn um, so I've just got the pencil out obviously you don't want to be wasteful so I don't know if you see that, that's my horn, and then I'm just gonna cut this out now.
So this is going to be the unicorn horn and I have got this scrap bit. If you haven't got it, don't worry, you can just use another bit of calico. But I'm going to fold this bit in half and um, just cut up here so that you can see it more. I'm actually going to use both of these bits, but I'm glad I opened the door because that was my parcel from White House. A nice t-shirt in it that I bought with my birthday money, so I'm glad I opened the door. But there we go. So what I've done is put both of them, if this was all in one, you just obviously fold it in half, which is what I was going to do. Um, and then I've just put the ends together. Um, this has been really crumpled where it's been in a bag in my cupboard. So I probably will go and straighten it. Yes, I said straighten it because I'm too lazy to iron. So I just straighten everything. <laughs> uh, comment down below if you do that too. So this is what I'm making is ears. Which is exactly the same shape. So now we've got two ears. So what you need to do is lay these out. I'm also, I'm gonna put glitter on this, but you may need to stiffen this slightly so you can use some stiffener, but with all the glue in that, it should be fine. So I'm just gonna go and get a glue dabber and I'll be back. So I'm back with the glue dabber and I'm gonna just use my fabric glue. The ears, I want some calico bits left, so I'm gonna not do all of that. I'm probably just gonna, um, do a little line. This glue's running out, so. Yeah, you can just see the splodge on there, yeah. And that one. And then this one, you want the whole um, horn covered as such. You don't need that much fabric glue. In fact, you could have just used PVA um, if you wanted, because you're not gluing it on, but you do need fabric glue for the next part. So I'm just spreading the glue out, which again will thicken the fabric. And yes, this will fray this fabric, so that's why we're gonna overlap it, but where you're gluing and whatnot, it should be fine. So I'm just gonna just spread that bit out. It doesn't matter if it goes to the bottom or not, purely because some of that's gonna be stuck to the bag anyway. So I'm just spreading this out. Like, you know, like a rabbit's ear, whatever, horse's ear, you're gonna... Right, be careful this doesn't stick to the table, like, feel like that has. Right, so then I'm gonna, you can use any color glitter you want, but for me, I am gonna actually use the pink or the purple. <laughs> I'm gonna use the pink on the ears and purple probably on the horn. So whilst these two are drying, I am going to do some um, work on the bag. Uh, this is going to be the hard part. Um, you may need help with this. Um, it's just a chain stitch, but this is how we're going to create the eyes. I have gone for the purple, but you can go for any colour eye. I just thought the purple would tie in better. Um, the image that I saw for this bag is really different to what I'm doing, but um, had black eyes but I just think this would be cute in the purple to match and my camera's not covered in glitter, great. So for the first bit, I'm just gonna draw on some eye shapes and just match it out where you want them. So it is literally just Obviously you can rub the pencil out if it goes wrong. So then I'm literally gonna take my thread. You can get this, all of these you can get from your local craft store. Um, I think you can also get embroidery thread and all of this lot online. Um, pretty sure anywhere would sell it. Um, but you don't need much, you can use this on other things. So this is me 
trying to show you this. You see I've split it. I only need two strands um, of the five. So I'm literally just hold on to the, the two that I want. This will twist up, but that's fine. You just untwist it. And you just carry on going. And then you might need some more of this, depends how long it takes you. But you can just put this bit to the side because you know that it's already been unthreaded as such. And then you just need to thread this onto your needle. So I threaded that onto the needle. And then the other end, I'm just going to tie in a knot so it doesn't come through. Open the bag up, put my, um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to move this around. So put your needle inside and start at the point. It doesn't matter which one you do, but start at the point and go up. Um, I'm really hoping you can see this. Right, so, and your thread won't come the whole way through, obviously. So go to the end. Okay, and now this is what you do. So you leave a loop and you go back in to the spot you were but kind of for the first one next to it and then you come up on the line further up you probably want to do this quite close together purely because um, it will be more effective but what I've done is so I've got the loop and this will pull it up through and loop the loop into place if that makes sense like so so you can see what we're doing we're just carrying on the, the pattern so keeping the loop um, going in next to or in the same spot. This is my mum and dad home. And then three. If you've picked purple for the eyes this will be like what your eyes look like um, or should look like with the chain stitch um, okay maybe I should have ironed the bag a bit but now I'm gonna use the horn and stuff like that finish that off and then glue it into the top so I'm gonna just do some plaits with the threads and ribbons and stuff like that so this is still slightly wet that I've just realised, but I'm just going to place that in there as such. And then this here, on, these will go on the straps so that that's actually going to make them stronger. It's going to be super cute. And then I'm going to do some twizzles around and um, plaits and twine and stuff like that. Um, wool, whatever you can get really. And you can always cut up fabrics and plait them down too. And then I'm gonna put some flowers on and stuff like that.
so now I have done all the plaits and stuff like that um, it is time for me to glue on the ears the uh, horn and all of the plaits and stuff like this some of this is going to be with the um, glue gun so I'll be on the floor otherwise it will be up on the table and I've put my mat in my bag just so it covers the um, and doesn't stick to the other side basically so this is what I'm going to do now and um, so I'm going to start with laying it all out making sure it looks right and um, pen with uh, buttons and what not else flowers and bows and then I'm going to obviously stick on the horn and the um, thing so we'll do that now so my glue gun is ready now all I'm going to say to you is the glue gun gets extremely hot so I would, if you're a child, I would ask for um, an adult supervisor to help you. Um, and obviously I've got this ready now, so I'm just gonna glue my threads in place. Where I've done the plaits. The glue also seems to dry super quick. Well, for me it does anyway. So you just need to put a dab on and then I'm literally gonna hold it, it down.
this is the finished bag. May should have probably ironed it possibly before it started to get that crease out, but that will drop. Um, and then this is the unicorn detail of the bag. I would, the only thing probably I would do is make the ears slightly bigger, but I love the detail of all like the plaited mane and all the bows and flowers in it. And then obviously the purple eyes go really well. So that's it for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Please comment down below if you would like a bag like this or if you would like to make it. Please also subscribe, push the notification bell to see when I post. And thanks for watching. Bye.